Right, okay, so now I'm ready to colour my brick wall. <laughs> I mean, I'm loving all the texture that's on it. I mean, admittedly, right now, it looks a bit uh, iffy. I'm just going to get a little tiny bit of black. Right, so what I'm going to do, you need your lava, you need a spray bottle and you need your paints. I'm going to do this wall white and grey. Um just because I fancy doing it white and grey. Everyone always refers to that I do. I like my browns and bronzes and blacks and blues. So, and plus, if I work on lighter colours, I think it's easier for you to see what's happening. Right, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to turn it around because I'm going to do my bricks first. Now, this isn't totally, totally dry. Um, so some bits might end up getting moved and things like that it, it shouldn't be too bad it's just mainly the sand but um because i'm sort of like putting the lava on and using the sponge technique you know nothing too bad's gonna happen so i'm gonna just put down a little tiny bit of black tiny and a dark gray so i'm gonna put go on with these first so some gray and then I'm going to get some lava out of the pot. Now you can do this just with your paints and water if you want, obviously. Um, I just prefer using uh, some of the lava as well because I know it's going to help, you know, hold any loose bits together. And also it just makes it flow um, better than just water. Right, okay then. So got to be a little bit careful because you don't want to undo all your hard work so i'm going to do the bricks first so i'm going to give them a, a spritz and then with a sponge i'm going to water down my paints as well i'm going to pick up a little bit of the black into the lava and hopefully get that into the cracks a little bit it's a bit more So it's just going into the gaps a bit and just on the tops and the bottoms of my bricks. Okay, and then just go roughly where your lines are. You don't, there's no, there's absolutely no, um, perfection or anything like that in it like i say because you're adding water to this now um you just got to be careful so paint and lava and just dab don't worry about where you're catching and where you're not catching and just dab Okay, and I can see that's well, I'm just gonna give that a bit of a dry off. make sure I'm getting it in bit over cautious with the black. <laughs> Let's get a bit more black in there. Now 
if you want if you, oh, if you feel that you're missing or you're not getting into your, your grooves just get some watered down black and just paint it in just be careful not to go too heavy with it really because you don't want just loads of black lines like that so that's just a Drop your paintbrush handle into the paint, of course. Got a nice little dip there. Okay, and then <clears throat> just bring it out onto your wall because you don't want to end up with like defined areas. Just bring it out like so. I'm just going to go in with a bit more black and where well, it's all softened, just get those lines back in a bit. Once you can feel you've got like a, a good skin back on it, you're okay to play again. Okay, so I'm just going in with a lighter grey now. And just gently going over. Not too much. But again, just start bringing it into your wall as well. And then back in with the hairdryer. We'll just let that settle for a minute and then we'll just start on our wall so it's gonna get a little bit more lava not exactly the best spoon to use to be honest <laughs> better off just using a palette knife okay so i'm going to pick up some of the black and the dark grey and just get it in where you got the 
two layers of the cardboard. Like I say, it doesn't have to be anything precise. You just don't want cardboard showing. So just pick up a bit. Okay, and then I just wanna make sure these bits, where I've made all my cracks, are darker. Where's the other one? Where is it now? Mm. Right. Then pick up some lava and your paint. Just get it all different and then do your pouncing. And just blend it out. Like so. Don't worry if you can't get your sponge into every little nook and cranny because you can just go through after if you need to, if you feel you need to. So now it's just a case of pouncing. I remember saying me, me saying I'm doing it white and grey. <laughs> it will be lighter than this when we finish. Okay, so I'm just making sure I've got all that. Exactly like how we done the base. Okay, and then hair dryer. <laughs> paintbrush just to get in these little bits and pieces just making sure there's no now obviously if you don't want to See, for me, this is a way of using less product. But if you if you find painting into little gaps like this, you might find it a bit difficult. You can always do the base first, then put your bricks on top if you wanted to do it like that. with my light grey that's probably too much there okay, now just dip down a little bit of white did I get that lava that's dripped <laughs> don't like waste there you go note to self don't use that spoon uh, right, okay then, so let's pick up, dab it off a bit, and then just gently, and randomly, but I'm literally just not even using any pressure, it's like the sponge I've got a crack in my, not a crack, I've got a crease in my cardboard there. 
don't have a crease in your cardboard. Okay, so very lightly. And when I say lightly, then if you can see, I'm literally just touching it like so. I'm avoiding going into my cracks and then uh, just bring it onto the bricks a bit. Down there, up there. Let's go see if I can pick up a bit of dark. There's still light. I wanted my bricks darker than the um than the wall. So I'm gonna but this is what I mean, like if you if you go like a little bit wrong with your colour, you, you don't have to worry. everywhere oh it's a mess square that bit like I say you can do this part with just your paint and water if you want but just bringing my bricks back down a bit And that is pretty much it. Then when it's all dry, what you can do is get your darkest colour or black, water it right down. Would normally do this when it's practically dry. And then just get your paintbrush, pick up the lightest colour by accident. Then get your paintbrush and if you need to, you can just go through and catch any bits that you've missed. Right, so. But for me, even if this is a grey and white box, like grey and white wall. I'm just picking up whatever I've got in my mat and I'm just brushing over over it just to um There's your, your bricks and your rendered wall. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, thank you for joining me. Or watching anyway at some point. <laughs> thank you. Bye.